Picture this. You're in a park. You hear a tire screeching. And a car goes off. You don't really know what's happening, but you go to investigate. You find a child on the ground in the mess of his bike. That is the premise of our next story. It's called The Child Across the Street, and it is written by Carrie Wilkinson. Okay. Yes. So I give you the basic premise of what this book is about. Uh, what are your thoughts before I really dive into this? Um, I'm guessing that she has to bring the child back to health and figure out why the child has been hit by a car and nobody cares. Well, I didn't say nobody cares. No, like, nobody else cared than her. Well, she's the only one there. So they didn't care enough to be there. So basically, what uh, all I know about this book so far, like, it feels just like figuring out why the accident happened. And Correct, yes. And bringing the child back to health is the right. two things that I can see coming from this story. Right, and it's interesting that you made that connection that the child wasn't necessarily dead. Um, but the child was close. So basically, the... The main character, she, her dad has died. She comes back to this really small town and she has to liquidate the house and the belongings inside of it. There are demons inside this house in her brain, not in the actual house, although there are. But like there are a lot of like bad things that happened in her past that are kind of coming back as she's here. But it's basically like the first thing that happens is she gets out of the car and this happens. And he is the son of a really good friend of hers from her childhood. So she feels this conviction that she needs to figure out why this happened. And there are tons of suspects, obviously. And so she goes off trying to figure out what happened. Um, there are other things, but that's like the biggest basic premise. Um, I felt like this book, while it had interesting premise, I wasn't like really happy with how it ended who it turned out to be and why, um, after being given so many juicy nuggets about suspects and their background, who it actually turns out to be was kind of a disappointment. Um, I honestly didn't see it coming because it was out of left field. Um, I ended up giving it three stars because I just, it was just okay. It was not the best thriller I've read, but it wasn't horrible either. It was a good read, but just not solid and... Yes, the interesting ending. <laughs> um, but if you are interested in reading this book, I will put that information down below for you. So until next time. Stay zen. Bye-bye.